Welcome back, I'm Brooke Baldwin, live here in Times Square, which has been transformed into Super Bowl Boulevard, and I'm looking out of the corner of my eye, a special someone who knows a thing or two about planning a Super Bowl. So stay tuned for that guest. He's looking at me. That, that's the tease for that. But let's talk about uh, let's talk about Dennis Rodman because it's only been a couple of weeks since he went into rehab after that. Um, we call it explosive interview from North Korea live with my colleague Chris Cuomo. Today, Chris Cuomo actually went to that rehab facility for another exclusive sit down with the former basketball star, and they talked about everything from Rodman's odd friendship with the dictator of North Korea to the alcoholism that landed where he sits today in rehab. For me, the reason why I drink is because I'm bored. You drink because you're bored? Absolutely, I've been saying it for years. I've been saying since 1993, you know, because I, I need to be active, I need to be productive, and just try to keep my mind on, on, uh, on uh, life in general. Throughout this interview, and then let me tell you, it's a lengthy interview, whenever the subject turned to problems with alcohol, Rodman uh, vacillated between admission and denial. People said, you created this monster, Dennis, and all of a sudden you can't get out. I said, I can get out, it just depends on if I want to get out. If I drink uh, two or three days in a row, I guess I'm alcoholic. Absolutely, I have no shame in that. I have no shame in that. But I told Dr. Drew when I was on the show that, uh, you know, he asked me, can you stop drinking? I said, I don't think so. I've been curbing my addiction. I've been curbing it, believe me, curbing it. Curbing it. I've been, I've been curbing the fact that, you know what, you have to start somewhere. People are going to see you in public. And the first thing people are going to say, well, we just saw him at a club. We just saw him at a, at, a, at a hotel. We just saw him here. We saw him there. The first picture you're going to see by me, oh, my God, he's had a drink. But he's doing that. That didn't really work for Dennis. Guess what? Really? Can you not drink? No, I can't play this. Can you not drink? What play this? This I said, can I not drink? Can what? you not drink? You mean water? Sherry Gaba, I have been looking forward to talking to you. Sherry Gaba is a psychotherapist and author of the book Law of Sobriety. She was on that season of uh, Dr. Drew's Celebrity Rehab that Dennis Rodman referred to in today's interview. So Sherry, welcome to you. Nice to have you on. Hi, Brooke. How are you? That was I'm very exciting. I, it's, it's incredibly very telling. You have Dennis Rodman in, in his sunglasses sitting down in this rehab facility. You heard all those bits and pieces. What's your reaction to Dennis Rodman now? Well, when he says he can curb it, that's that's really an unusual statement in a re, you know in recovery because in recovery it usually means abstinence, and one of the issues is that you need long-term uh, recovery. You need sober living, and so I, I think it's great that he's in a rehab right now. But what he really needs is long-term recovery. That's what really is going to work for him. And the way he lives his lifestyle, there's going to be a lot of yes people that are going to continue to give him um, or are going to say yes to him in terms of uh, the alcohol. It's just it's just around him everywhere. He needs to be around sober people in a sober community like a place that I can sell like Soba Malibu. He needs to be around other people of fellowship. Um, I didn't see a lot of emotional sobriety in the interview. Um, he was, uh, you know, blank. Right. Um, he was blaming Chris for the questions uh, instead of really taking responsibility. You know, drinking is just part of it. It's also looking at the consequences and the wreckage of your behavior underneath the drinking. Drinking is just the symptom. And so I, I did see, I would agree with you completely, a lot of uh, shades of denial there. What about, uh, Cherry, when you talk about you know, his overall lifestyle here um he says he says he can't follow the 12 steps he believes following half of them means he's won half of the battle does that even make sense to you so it may mean that he's you know half in half out which is going to mean he's going to continue to drink he's not he's not completely embrace, embracing sobriety but you know we have to start where somebody is. Um, I, I don't see a lot of willingness. I mean, again, I, I, I want to give him credit. He is in recovery. He's in a rehab right now, and I wish for the best for him. I worked with him on celebrity rehab. I mean, he's got a big heart. I, I, I'm hoping for the best, but the, the deal is you really have to embrace it fully. You have to give your, your life to it, really. It has to be your life, or there is no life. Seconds, sometimes. In 20 seconds, Sherry, since you worked with him, um, do you see a different Dennis Rodman at all? from the, the, the time in celebrity rehab, or is he the same guy you knew? I think he's pretty much the same guy. I think he's pretty much the same guy. Sherry gave up, thank you very much. We wish him well, truly do. Sherry, thanks. Yes, of course. Coming up, of course. Coming up, uh, here's a question.